Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Shayla, if this is your first time here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the brand new Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Um, it's brand new, everyone's been asking me to review it. So um, instead of a review, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about the product and we're gonna do like a, kind of like a hydrated, moist, makeup look not too moist but you know hydrated because we ain't dry up in here today's video is sponsored by fenty shout out to fenty appreciate ya um and in this video i'm gonna be using pretty much i would say like 90 percent of fenty products so yeah we're, we're basically going zero to fenty real quick so without further ado let's get started let's get ready to rumble <laughs> all right i'm gonna start with the brand new fenty beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer, yes, hydrating. So you don't have to have normal to dry skin. I mean, this is for normal to dry skin, but you don't need to have normal to dry skin to use hydrating products because most of us are dehydrated, okay? Ooh, it feels good. And you can kind of just feel the moisture and the hydration right away. All right, the star of the show, Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Um, it comes in a different container obviously um, with a pump which I really like so uh, the pro filter the original Fenty pro filter was kind of in a I think it was just like this except a different color um, so this is like a nice little change of pace I actually like this especially for traveling um, so I'm gonna use the Fenty kabuki brush we're gonna apply this all over and then blend it with a sponge you don't have to blend it with the sponge, but y'all know that's what I like to do. So the brand new hydrating longwear foundation comes in 50 shades. It's a natural finish. Um, they really made this for normal to dry skin. I have combination skin um, and I'm fine with it. Um, I think my skin is just like in the areas that are like normal, they're like almost a little bit more dry. So I get a little shiny in my T-zone and then like right up in here, I am kind of more I guess normal and sometimes dry. So I don't feel like this is like too hydrating at all for my uh, skin type. This foundation is medium to full coverage. So you can just put a little bit on like I started with um, and just leave it at that or you can really just build it to maximize the coverage. And I did go a little bit darker. Like I feel like this is like my shade, but this is like my summer shade, I should say. But it is like a, a hair dark because my arms, my body is a lot darker than my face. You guys know this though. And I know the foundation's like a hair darker, but you guys can see the finish. It just kind of gives you that skin. That's what natural finish is. It just looks like it's your skin. And right now this just looks like my skin with a little bit of a tan. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna apply 370 in the Pro Filter Concealer. Under my eyes, kind of all over. So the new hydrating foundation is available on Sephora.com and FentyBeauty.com. If you guys wanna check it out. And it's really easy to find your shade because if you have the regular Pro Filter foundation, it's literally like the same number system. So I'm 400 or sometimes 410 or 420 in Pro Filter foundation and in the hydrating foundation, I'm like the same color. I'm blender in. Another reason I kind of like to go a little bit darker with my foundation is because I feel like my concealer really brightens my face. And if it's like already my skin tone and then I'm adding like lighter concealer, I feel like it makes me look too light. Whereas this almost like, when I'm done with the concealer, it just looks perfect. Mm -hmm. Did I tell you guys the shade? 370? 370. And whatever is left over on your sponge, just kind of carve out under the cheek area, just to like almost give a little contour without contouring. All right, I'm gonna use the 195 bronzer brush and I'm just gonna dip it into cashew setting powder. I love this stuff, just like a little bit, like literally like, see just a little bit. And I'm just gonna press this under my eyes and then bake afterward. And if you're more of like a natural girl, you know, you could just like do this, call it a day. But I like to bake. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I love, ooh. Ooh, I just love cashew. It's like the, it's just a bomb. Bomb. All right, so I'm gonna just grab my little powder puff here, and we're gonna bake with cashew under the eyes. 
I look like I just freaking <laughs> dipped my face in some powder. <laughs> I'm gonna clean it up now. A little bit up here. All right, so I'm gonna grab a flat brush. See, see what's going on here? We can't, we can't be having this, okay? What, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, okay. I'm gonna grab a flat brush and just kind of wipe off the sides of my nose because we don't want that to bake. Just like this. So there's nothing on this brush. Perfect. And so you can use like a fluffy brush or a powder puff and just kind of blot the rest of your face to kind of set it. If you have more combination oily skin, I definitely suggest this if you like a matte finish. Um, if you have more like normal to dry skin, definitely use a brush because this might be too matte. Ooh, natural. You guys can see even on my forehead, like this foundation really is hydrating. It's not gonna make you like, I don't wanna say it's not gonna make you look oily, but it's not. It just gives your skin like that real natural type of look. Mm-hmm, I'm here for it. All right, I'm gonna fill in my brows with the Sigma Dark Brown Brow Powder Duo. Um, I'm not gonna use a pomade or anything. I'm just gonna use a powder because I want like a natural look, you know what I'm saying? Let me just brush these bad boys up. You guys, I've had like such a rough <laughs> last week. Like I feel like, okay, this is the start of a new week, but last week was so rough for me. Like I went bowling and look at my nail, like the whole top of my nail is like gone. Uh, what else? I burned myself like a week and a half ago. I didn't even really show you guys, but see, see the scar? Yeah, it was like a fifth degree burn. I'm not even kidding. I burned myself in the oven. Uh, what else happened? My back is aching. I was a mess, okay. <laughs> I was a mess. All right, I'm gonna grab my same Fenty concealer and I'm gonna clean up under my eyes and kind of just like use this as a base. I'm not even gonna put shadow on today. I'm gonna use bronzer, which I've done in a video before. I don't know if you guys remember like when the Fenty bronzers first came out, I did um, like a review and I use the bronzers as shadow and I really just like how that looks. So we gonna do that. We gonna do that. All right, using the same setting powder, cashew, I'm just gonna set the concealer on both sides. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna grab Coco Naughty. Yeah, we're gonna, we'll probably use Coco Naughty and Mocha Mommy. I love both these bronzers. Um, but I'm just gonna grab a fluffy brush and apply this in the crease. So it's gonna give you like a natural kind of contour. And yes, this is the bronzer that I use like every day. <laughs> Ooh, it's good. It's good, good. I want you guys to tell, like, what do you guys think about white backdrops? Because I just love, filming with a white backdrop, but I don't know if you guys get bored or what. Like, do you like it? Do you not care? You wanna see like house in the background? You know, like some people like to have like pictures and all type of stuff. I'm always curious, like, what do you guys wanna see? Cause I know when I watch YouTube videos, I'm like, I don't care. Like, I don't care what's in the background. You know, as long as something's not moving back there, freaking me out, like I'm straight. Look at that, look natural. Should we do Mocha Mommy? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the darker shade Mocha Mommy and just kind of put this on the outside of the crease. And I'm also gonna put this under the lash line. I love that Mocha Mommy has like a reddish undertone. Like I love putting reddish browns close to my lash line. I feel like it just like brings out my eyes, looks bomb. It adds a little color without like being too dark. All right, I'm gonna line my eyes. I'm like, should I take the bake off? Should we let it bake some out? Yes, okay, so I'm gonna line my eyes with the Fenty liquid liner. Um, and I think, are we gonna do wing? Um, we gonna see. I might even do like a baby wing. I don't know. Let's see what my hand wants to do. Yeah, itty bitty baby wing. All right, I'm gonna use my powder brush and wipe off the bake. Mm -hmm. Smooth. All right, now I'm gonna add, ooh. Coco Naughty Bronzer, I'm using the same powder brush. So I tend to go crazy with bronzer. <laughs> like I love how bronzer contours you. You could even use bronzer as a blush too. Ooh, yes. I'm gonna dip into Mocha Mommy, which is a little darker. And I'm just gonna use like a little bit right here. Just a tiny bit. Mm-hmm, see that? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna highlight with Mo Honey Highlighter. Mo Honey and Afternoon Snack. I think I'm just gonna use Mo Honey though. We just gonna use that, see what happens. I think a little bit, I'm not going crazy. Got a little bit on my nose here. 
I'm gonna also put a little bit of this highlighter on the inside of my eye, because why not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Seed You Later blush from ColourPop. I love pink matte blushes, like love. All right, I'm gonna throw on some Lily Lashes. So a lot of times when I put lashes on, I will put either mascara on first, the lash, and then add more mascara, or I'll just put the lash on and then use mascara to kind of bind my lash with the false lash. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, these are the, did I tell you Miami lashes? I've used these once before. So they're a little used. <laughs> um, but I like how lashes look like a lot better the second time around, you know? The second and third use are like the best. And if you put mascara on your lash, uh, you really only get like two, maybe three uses out of it, which kind of sucks. Like I, I like using lashes for like, a month straight, you know? But putting mascara on does look like 10 times better. <laughs> Let these dry. All right, before I add mascara, I'm gonna set my, ooh, <laughs> makeup with the All Nighter Spray from Urban Decay. Let that set for a second. All right, now we could add a little bit of mascara up in here. Honestly, like lashes are just like everything. All right, we are gonna finish off this look with kind of like a nude peach lipstick. I'm actually gonna mix two of the Mademoiselle lipsticks. What do I have here? Up To No Good and Tiger Teeny. I think I'm gonna put Up To No Good on first, Tiger Teeny on over it. And we're almost done. All right, so this is ColourPop BFF3 lip liner. And then this is up to no good. Ooh. So really I'm only putting it like the center of my lip, blotting my lips together. Ooh. Kind of like that. I'm like, I like this by itself. Okay, no, we're gonna mix it though. So this is a uh, Tiger Teeny. Yeah, I like this nude. So this is almost like a tad too bright. Let me just mix these. Oh yeah. Add a little more lip liner. Oh yeah, see, that's perfect. Ooh, I love like peachy colors, especially with my hair being this light. It just brings it all the way together. All right, guys, here is the finish Fenty face. Foundation looks good, right? Hmm. Um, I really like it. Like, I really like how soft and just like natural my skin looks. Um, I just feel like if you have normal to dry skin, you're really gonna, I, I keep looking in the mirror and then looking at the monitor cause I'm like, <laughs> uh, but if you have normal to dry skin, I think you're just gonna absolutely love this foundation. Um, it is hydrating, but also if you have combination skin like me, I think you'll like it. It just gives your face that like natural look. Like I don't look like, like even my forehead, you could see like, it just looks natural. Like it's my skin. Um, definitely worth giving a try. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to check out the Fenty Hydrating Foundation. I think you're gonna love it. And last but not least, Strut and Slay.